Did you ever meet a technology that excites you, but also can sort of scare you, and you're not quite sure what to do about it and how to control it? Uh, SharePoint is that technology in my mind. Um, SharePoint has become prolific throughout enterprises across industries, but it is very pervasive within life sciences companies itself. It has enabled great collaboration and communication and document sharing within the life sciences organization. Uh, but then as its, as its use has pro, uh, become more prolific in the life sciences organization, uh, we've encountered, you know, how do we manage SharePoint in, the, in areas where we have to have controlled documents and we have to meet compliance requirements. And we have things like FDA 21 CFR 11 and other uh, requirements for the audit trails on who accessed it and when did they access it. Do we have the proper authentication authorization around that? Um, and SharePoint by itself, out of the box, might not meet those requirements. And therefore, what do we do about that? Well, I'm here to help you understand that, you know, SharePoint can coexist in that area of the life sciences organization requiring controlled access to documents when combined with technologies like Humos to be able to provide that additional layer of control and security and audit trail and life cycle around those documents to make a, a good marriage of, you know, the collaboration of SharePoint and the performance and protect productivity that brings to the organization with the controls and the audit trails and, and documentation you need to validate compliance in the controlled parts of life sciences organization.